Hello and welcome to 3D Print Passion. Today I like to show you how to print with marble PLA, what you can expect and what you need to be aware of. Have fun watching the video. As you can see, this white marble PLA did have black pigments to give this marble look. There are different marble PLAs available, uh, some with only plastic elements inside, plastic contents inside. I think that's exactly the one I have. And there are marble PLAs with real marble content inside, especially for that marble content inside PLAs, you really need to use a hardened nozzle because a standard press nozzle will be spent after a half roll of this filament maybe. As a first print for my marble PLA, I decided to print out this David from Michelangelo, uploaded and remixed from 3DWP. This is normally, I think so, more a print for SLA printer. The original, I think it's a 3D scan, um, is coming from Jerry7171. A beautiful object, awesome, isn't it? And this is how the printout looks now. Yeah, it is not perfect because of the layers. They are not very equal. Some of them are a little bit bigger, some a little bit thinner. So the surface is not exactly like I normally want to have it. Uh, overall, the printout, in my opinion, is very well, especially for uh, the problematic you have on this statue uh, with the structure, with the support structure. But yeah, like I said, not nice with the layers. And the reason why we have that problem with the layers is the deviation on the PLA. Have a look here, what big differences we can see. Normally it should have 1.75 and we see already on the measurements I made that we are sometimes really far away from that 1.75 millimeters. And uh, so I made a flow calibration part. I made a printout of it and um, changed the flow parameters depending to the measurements inside Kiowa and choose as next a spiraled M4. And yeah, look this beautiful surface. Now the layers are much more nicer and this Mabel look is really amazing. I absolutely like that. Beautiful. This is why I like to check and like to test this Mabel PLA because of this beautiful classic look of elements you can print. Wonderful. My next printout is a Mother Day sculpture from Make Printable. And if we see here the makes on Thingiverse, we can see that there are really a lot of prints outs available. And yeah, also the marble prints here, some of them have this layer problem, what I also have. And yeah, let's have a look to my printout now. Yeah, it looks very well. Marble look is great. The layer problem is a little bit better now, but still not perfect. Yes, my next object will be an Arc de Triumph to plant something in the garden. And I printed that one in a little bit scaled, smaller scaled version, so not in the original size, a little bit smaller, like I said. Uh, and yeah, let's have a look how the printout will look now. And sure, we will have the problem with the layer lines again. Yes, like we can see here. With that big deviation, it's absolutely not possible to have perfect layer lines. But overall, the printout in my opinion, looks nice and for the garden to plant something in it, in my opinion, it's great enough. So let's quickly come back to the nozzle subject again, like we already started talking about it. 
uh, in the beginning of this video. So really make sure what kind of PLA you will use to print. If you both a PLA with a real stone content in it or marble content in it, make very sure that you don't print with your standard press nozzle. This filament is much too abrasive to this press nozzle and you really need a steel nozzle or another hardened nozzle what can withstand this abrasive material. Else your nozzle will be defective after some hundred grams, maybe a half roll of that filament. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. If you liked the video, thanks to give me a thumbs up. I really will be happy about some comments below the video. So long. I wish you happy printing. Bye.